Monday class. Welcome to our Media and Information Literacy class. My name is Ms. Riza Magno and I will be your teacher for today's topic. And today, we will be discussing the introduction to media and information literacy that will focus on the communication. At the end of the learning period, the student should be able to Before we start with our discussion today, let us first ask the guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to the inputs of our teacher. May we value each other's contributions as a building block towards harmony and peace, and we will be able to apply correctly what we have learned today. Grant that as we interact with one another, we recognize the fact that all our learning activities should be accomplished for your greater glory. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we proceed on our topic, let us first try your prior knowledge regarding our topic today. Try to understand the different set of questions and choose the best answer. You may write your answers on a sheet of paper. In what form is information usually communicated? Is it textual, images, verbal, or all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. The librarian cannot understand the directions you are asking because of the telephone call that she needs to answer. In the communication parts, the telephone call can also be referred to as A, source, B. Noise, C. Feedback, D. Effect. The correct answer is B. Noise. For question number three, which among these refers to the exchange of information and expression of feeling that can result in an understanding? Is it information, media, result, or communication. The correct answer is D, communication. News, entertainment, education, data, or promotional messages are disseminated through this communication component, which means to bridge or connect. Is it channel, exchange, feedback, or noise? The correct answer is A, channel. And for the last question, Which of the following is an act or process of using words, sounds, signs, or behaviors to express or exchange information or to express your ideas, thoughts, feelings to someone else? Is it feedback, noise, communication, or effect? The correct answer is communication. Come to think of these questions. Do you know what is communication? Why do we communicate? And how do we communicate? These are the things that we will identify as we go along with our topic, which is all about the communication and the media. 
Communication has never been more challenged than in today's media-saturated world. In the past, people would only tell stories face-to-face. -face. Nowadays, stories are coursed through electronic and digital means that require a set of communication skills. Most people's life has never been the same for Filipinos because communication has become complex but interesting and exciting. So what is communication? Communication is taken from the Latin word communicare, which means to share or to divide out. Communication is a process of sharing ideas and opinions about issues, people, events, and places between or among persons through various channels to gain common understanding. It is an interactive process that allows sharing of meanings about text, images, and people's actions and behavior. In order for communication to take place, two main actors work together. They are called the sender and the receiver. Being able to send a message to a receiver does not guarantee a successful communication process. Effective communication takes place when the sender receives a feedback or a response that he initially wanted to receive or to have. Humans communicate through verbal and nonverbal means of relaying information or through the use of media such as print, broadcast, electronic, or new media. Communication types are defined as the ways by which communication can be expressed. It can be through verbal communication or nonverbal communication. With the following types of communication, let us first discuss what is verbal communication. Verbal communications happen through verbally, vocally, or through written words which express or convey the message. One of the examples is, when a baby is crying, it is identified as verbal communication. Hunger pain is expressed vocally. Verbal communication could also be in oral and in written form. Oral communication is a communication which happens through word of mouth, spoken words, conversations, and also any messages or information that are shared or exchanged between one another through speech or word of mouth. Public speeches, news reading, television, radio, Telephone and mobile conversation are examples of oral communication. Written communication is a communication that is expressed through written word or often written sign which refers to the languages used in any medium. Simply any handwritten, type, newspaper, printed word documents, letter, books, and magazines are examples of written communication. The next basic type of communication is the nonverbal communication. Any communication without word of the mouth, spoken words, conversation, and written languages are said to be nonverbal. It happens through signs, symbols, colors, gestures, body language, or any facial expressions. Traffic signals is one of the best examples of this type of communication. Communication may seem so simple because it is something that we do every day. We communicate with our parents, siblings, teachers, and classmates regularly. It is therefore important to understand the process of communication. Here are the different parts of the communication model that will characterize the communication process. Starting off with the source or sender. They are the one who sends or delivers a message and who initiates the communication process. Message The information or the verbal and nonverbal message conveyed to another person or a group of people. The medium Media is the plural form of medium or ways to communicate information. It is also the channel through which the message is coursed. The receiver. They are the one who receives the message. The communication process is considered successful when the receiver responds the way the source intended. 
However, the communication process does not end there. The effect of the message and the feedback of the receiver should also be noted in order to know the result of the communication process. The effect. This is the response of the receiver after getting the message from the source. Feedback. Feedback is an important product of the communication process. It tells the source how effective the selected message and channel are to the receiver. Feedback confirms whether there is a mutual understanding between the source and the receiver. The communication process is not always ideal. Sometimes, interference can also occur when the source sends a message. This is called the noise or barriers. This is the disruptions in the communication process. In the workplace, noise can be common, especially when people who are not familiar with each other communicate. Always remember that when communication is mishandled, it may lead to personal problems such as anxieties, disappointments, or arguments. On the next session, we will discuss how the disparts works on together in a communication process. How we communicate has recently been transformed by Web 2.0 and social media. Today, our lives are more connected on a global scale than ever. It has truly become a world economy status. Now, here is the illustration of the 10 levels of intimacy in today's communication. I will give you one minute to analyze the picture. Timer starts now. up. Now, based on the infographic, I want you to answer the following questions. You may write down your answers on a sheet of paper. What do you think is the message of the illustration? For two minutes, timer starts now.
times up? That's a good answer. The graphic is a neat representation of the present most popular forms of communication. It ranges from 10 as the most intimate and 1 as the least intimate. For the next question, do you agree with the illustration regarding communication? Why yes or why not? For 2 minutes, timer starts now. Time's up? That's correct. Communication in the most intimate range involves a visual or auditory interaction, where areas the least intimate forms lack this. The ranking in this graphic is definitely a matter of opinion and subjective in nature. If you need more time to answer this activity, you may continue it in your digitized worksheets. Based from the definition of communication, what do you think best describes your communication habits? You may write your answers on your digitized worksheets. For an additional task, please work on with your digitized worksheet number 1. Complete the activity part and take the post-test so that you can assess your progress for today's lesson. Stay safe and happy learning!